Hello everyone and welcome to Net Crypto where you get important information and news about all coins of interest. And today we happen to be talking about drama in crypto, right? We know the markets are down, but uh, crypto never ceases to give entertainment, right? So there is this huge story in case you don't know. One of my new favorite uh, website to check out crypto news is a new upcoming website and they uh, so far, sticking to, to, to their policy, straight to the point, crypto news. So I saw this article. Let me just go on the breaking news. I saw this article uh, which says BitBoy Crypto sues fellow YouTuber Atozi for shilling and uh, files a defamation lawsuit against him. Right? So this is the first article I saw on this website, Crypto Platter. Right? And then the next thing uh, I'm seeing is uh, BitBoy fighting a losing battle. So obviously, if you want to just go and read the details of both of the stories, right, uh, like, like they say, these guys, um, straight to the point news, right? And then also, you can see this one, uh, BitBoy is fighting a losing battle, right? So I'm busy reading these news stories. I'm like, what is going on here, right? So the YouTuber, YouTube cryptocurrency promoter is uh, mainly make, making his work which is full of schemes more visible. This was without a doubt a very bad decision and it is blowing up in BitBoy's face in, uh, every, in a very unsavory way, you see. So now, what has occurred, I've just heard, the breaking news just came out, BitBoy has dropped this lawsuit, right? So there was this video that um, Atozi did saying I got sued Right, and in this video where he says he got sued, All right. right, uh, he's got about what 1.2 million, uh, so he got sued around 75,000 bucks, right, by BitBoy. So he said he didn't doesn't have the money and he opened up a Go Fund, right? So the Go Fund, so far when I checked, it is collected 52,000, right, 52,000 dollars. And if you check um, uh, the C, C top donations, right? I, I just chuckled when I saw this, right? So uh, Anonymous donated uh, 25,000 and then BitBoy's mom donated 5,000. Obviously, it's not BitBoy's mom. It's just someone who's just making a meme out of the whole thing, right? So obviously, BitBoy promoted projects that turned out to be rug pulls in the past, right? And uh, he, was he was sponsored by those projects. And now, with this lawsuit, lots more projects were going to come out. So I guess it's not shocking that now he has dropped this whole lawsuit situation, right? So, but what does this tell us about crypto? Well, for me, as a YouTuber, I think it's very important to not do sponsorships at all. I have never done sponsorships on this channel and things like this. I think it's best to stay away because I don't think that way back in the past, uh, BitBoy planned to do sponsorships that would turn into rug pulls, right? That's just not cool, especially if you're someone that is doxxed to do something like that, right? Of course, he has come out now, BitBoy, saying he doesn't do uh, sponsorships anymore. But guess what? Crypto never forgets. That's why I tell the guys at MetaPets, right, who are now changing themselves to Petsverse, that... Crypto will never forget. You guys are young and you're running with this coin meta pets that completely scammed everyone because you changed your story page in the metaverse and all that, right? And then now people are never going to forget. So now everyone is going to go and is going to be digging into BitBoy. BitBoy. So who knows when the, how this story is going to end out now, right? Uh, so this uh, website is pretty much um, giving some up-to-date news. If you just want to, to, to check out this website, I'll put the links down there in the description, right? Uh, it's pretty accurate when it comes to like news, cryptocurrency, latest prices and stuff, right? So far, it's my one-stop uh, shop, right? To just check uh, crypto news at the moment, right? So most definitely some drama into crypto, right? Some drama into crypto. Uh, today right so today i wasn't going to be doing a video but i just decided you know what let me just go and uh, talk about this issue so i'm interested to know what do you think about this whole situation right of uh, suing getting sued right uh, because if you call out scams like you know on this channel we don't have tolerance for scams in fact 
I've got a whole playlist of scams on here. Like, let me check. I have created a whole lot of the, this scam coins, full list, right? So I've got a whole list of scam coins here, right? We covered the Melanet scam. It was pretty bad, right? I think around 3 million was lost around there, right? We also covered, of course, many Tesla has been scamming. And then Shiba Hunter, one of the merciless scams that we have covered here. We also have Pulley. These guys like came back at me. You can't believe they were saying this thing is not a scam, but it is a scam, right? And then Meta Vegas, another said scam. Shib RWD, this community as well, super angry with me when I called them out a scam. But now it's all out there, right? So you see here MetaNet scam, uh, baby white hamster scammed people multiple times, right? Uh, Eagle token scam. So we don't have tolerance for scams on this channel. So that's why we never ever get sponsored. And I think it's a good thing because if you're not sponsored, you have freedom of speech. Because once I start to get sponsored by projects, then it's I'm restricted in the way that I say things, right? So if a project was to sponsor me, say, Net Crypto, we are going to give you $1,000 or $500 uh, for you to just... Uh, do a review of our project you can give an honest review but guess what do are you really going to be speaking negatively over someone who has just paid you right so then you if you're tempted you take the money then tomorrow they rug pulled and then you are into this bit boy situation right so i think if you are doing crypto on youtube it's best to remove sponsorships completely away from your strategy unless maybe if you are being sponsored by a uh, big company such as binance right they've been around like forever or crypto.com uh huge companies yes i think that is reasonable but remember even companies that became huge like voyager digital they blew up in people's faces right and now people are suing them left right and center even mark cuban is being sued right so this is some drama that is occurring in crypto for today no doubt I don't think this will be the end of it. Who knows what's going to happen? Maybe Atozi is going to go after BitBoy now, right? Counter Sue. That's what they call it, right? So definitely, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be letting you know what is going to be occurring with this story. A very interesting story, story indeed. So thank you for watching. And of course, subscribe to the channel, right? And we'll be very happy if you join our membership program, right? But please, subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free. And you get... All the latest and greatest right of crypto and i always keep you up to date on some of our favorite projects here so thank you for watching and i'll see you